J. Craig Venter, A Life Decoded, My Genome, My Life. Embark on an exhilarating journey into the life of J. Craig Venter, a pioneering scientist in genomics, in the compelling book A Life Decoded, My Genome, My Life. This summary delves into the key experiences of Venter's youth, his time as a medic in the Vietnam War, and his passion for understanding the essence of life. Uncover how his fierce intellect paved the way for an illustrious career in biochemistry, and untangling the secrets of the human genome. Beginning with his childhood adventures and culminating in his groundbreaking achievements in genomic science, learn how Venter's daring spirit, perseverance, and undeniable talent contributed to shaping the future of scientific discovery. Unleashing Venter's Innate Traits J. Craig Venter, born in 1946 in Millbrae, California, found his calling early in life thanks to the freedom his parents allowed him. With an untamed spirit, young Venter often sought out risks and challenges, such as racing airplanes on the runway of San Francisco International Airport alongside his friends. In these daring adventures, Venter discovered his ability to think quickly and evade capture by the authorities. His keen interest in construction also surfaced early on, as he built tunnels, forts, an electronic scoreboard, and even a hydroplane motorboat. Driven by curiosity and a desire for practical experiences, Venter's childhood explorations would go on to shape his audacious, innovative spirit that continues to influence the world today. The Turning Point, Venter's Journey In 1967, a 20-year-old Venter was on the brink of being deployed to Vietnam. Scoring 142 on an IQ test ultimately sent him to hospital corps school rather than combat. Life in Vietnam proved taxing on Venter's mental health, leading him to attempt suicide via exhaustion in the ocean. Surprisingly, a shark attack inspired him to swim back to shore, marking his drive to understand life's essence, given its fragility. As a corpsman in the military medical unit, Venter gained hands-on medical experience in the intensive care ward, treating victims of severe wartime injuries. He later worked in a dermatology and infectious disease clinic, combating widespread venereal diseases among soldiers and other conditions such as malaria and tumors. Additionally, Venter provided medical care to children at a local orphanage in Da Nang, dealing with a broad spectrum of issues from pregnancies to major wounds. Witnessing hundreds of casualties and observing the impact of willpower and spirit on survival took an emotional toll on Venter. Seeking solace from the devastating realities of war, a young Venter swam as far from the Vietnam shoreline as he could, intending to drown. However, a brush with a shark led him back to shore, sparking his unrelenting pursuit of understanding the intricacies of life. Rising Through Academic Excellence After experiencing the horrors of the Vietnam War, Venter dedicated himself to education, enrolling at the College of San Mateo in early 1969. His outstanding academic performance led to acceptance at the University of California, San Diego, where he pursued biochemistry. During his studies, he gained the attention of renowned biochemist Nathan O. Kaplan, who encouraged him to develop a research project. Venter chose to explore fight-or-flight responses, challenging the idea that adrenaline acted inside human cells. His groundbreaking research revealed that adrenaline worked on the cell's surface, a discovery he published in the prestigious journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Science as an undergraduate student. While earning his Ph.D. in biochemistry in 1975, Venter published an impressive 11 papers in reputable journals. As he progressed through university, he was awed by the caliber of fellow scientists and had the opportunity to meet notable figures in the scientific community, such as Nobel Prize winners Carl and Jerdy Corey, biochemist Ephraim Katzer, and University Chancellor William McElroy. Unleashing a Genomic Revolution At the State University of New York in Buffalo, Venter embarked on an ambitious journey to define his career. This path took a turn when he joined the National Institutes of Health, NIH, the hub of American medical research. There, he shifted his focus to molecular biology and was introduced to the nascent field of genomics, which studies genes. Venter found his calling at the NIH, 
enjoying a well-funded lab and opportunities for collaboration with top researchers. His first molecular biology paper revealed a gene responsible for adrenaline recognition, sparking his interest in decoding the human genome. Genes, the DNA regions holding biological information, are decoded by determining the chemical building block sequence. Venter spent a decade unlocking a single adrenaline receptor gene, but was captivated by the prospect of decoding every human gene, a feat considered impossible by many scientists of the time. The genomic controversy unraveled. Venter's fascination with the human genome led him to develop a technique for rapidly identifying genes using expressed sequence tags, ESTs. This breakthrough, and his attempt to patent the genes he identified, sparked controversy and criticism within the scientific community. Many researchers believed human genes should not be subject to patenting, while others feared the human genome could be monopolized by private investors. Despite the opposition, Venter left the NIH to pursue his research at a privately funded institute, the Institute for Genomic Research, TIGER. Driven by a passion for understanding the human genome, Venter developed a revolutionary technique at the NIH. This method focused on identifying genes through the use of expressed sequence tags, ESTs, short DNA fragments that provide insights about genes. Convinced of the immense value in gene discovery and better comprehension of the human genome, Venter embarked on a journey to patent these genes with the support from the NIH. This endeavor, however, ignited a firestorm of criticism as many in the scientific community saw Venter's actions as attempting to patent the very essence of humanity. Some went as far as labeling his efforts as a quick and dirty land grab, arguing that human genes should not be patented at all. Feeling unsupported in his quest for genomic advancement, Venter decided it was time to part ways with the NIH in 1992. He yearned to fully unleash the potential of his EST methodology, unburdened by governmental bureaucracy. Serendipitously, Venter received an offer from Human Genome Sciences, HGS, a company willing to finance his research and commercialize his findings. With HGS backing, Venter established his very own research institution, the Institute for Genomic Research, TIGER. As Venter's pursuit continued, some researchers grew increasingly concerned about the consequences of this genomic race. They feared that the human genome could end up locked away, privately owned by investors with significant control over the fundamental building blocks of life. Unlocking the Human Genome Determined to decode the human genome, Venter developed a groundbreaking method called shotgun sequencing. This technique involved splitting a genome into thousands of DNA fragments to analyze them more efficiently. To test its efficacy, Venter applied shotgun sequencing to decode the bacterium H. Influenza, achieving success in 1995. Though his funding from Human Genome Sciences, HGS, was in jeopardy, Venter seized an opportunity to build Celera a subsidiary of Perkin Elmer, and continued his pursuit of decoding the human genome. Remarkably, in 2000, both Celera and the publicly funded Human Genome Project announced their joint success, the complete decoding of the human genome, with Venter at the epicenter of this incredible breakthrough. Unraveling the Human Genome On June 26, 2000, a pivotal moment in the history of science took place at the White House. Craig Venter, alongside Francis Collins of the Human Genome Project, HGP, announced the decoding of the entire human genome. There had been skepticism surrounding Venter's shotgun sequencing technique, but this groundbreaking accomplishment put doubts to rest. The announcement was a relief for Venter and his team at Celera, who always considered themselves ahead of the HGP. This scientific triumph garnered Venter numerous accolades, including prestigious awards and honorary degrees from around the world. But, with such an extraordinary achievement behind him, one might wonder where Venter found his next scientific passion. Ocean Genomics for Sustainability Following his groundbreaking work in deciphering the human genome, Venter sought a new challenge that combined his passions for both science and sailing. Recognizing the unsustainable nature of modern life, he turned his focus to studying the ocean's genome to understand the effects of climate change on marine life, particularly ocean acidification. 
Examining seawater samples revealed an incredible diversity of microorganisms, with tens of thousands of new species and over 1.3 million new genes discovered in just 200 liters of surface water. Venter now dedicates his expertise to developing synthetic biological organisms with the potential to transform industries and combat pollution. The J. Craig Venter Institute, founded in 2006, operates as a major private research facility, employing over 500 scientists and staff with an annual budget surpassing $70 million. Together, they explore innovative ways to harness the capabilities of microbes and their biochemistry, aiming to create solutions such as carbon capture systems for coal-fired plants or tools to alter the atmosphere itself. Through these ambitious initiatives, Venter hopes to develop new organisms that can help secure a more sustainable future for our planet. In A Life Decoded, My Genome, My Life, J. Craig Venter shares his remarkable life's journey and the unwavering determination that led to his revolutionary contributions in genomic science. Venter's story of decoding the human genome alongside the Human Genome Project highlights the power of his visionary insights and unyielding resolve. As a result of his groundbreaking work, Venter has received numerous international awards and honors. Now shifting his focus to utilizing genomic knowledge for the betterment of our environment, Venter's ongoing commitment embodies his lifelong pursuit of scientific understanding and innovation. This captivating summary invites readers to explore the life and accomplishments of a true trailblazer in the world of genomics.